Um, one last example I'd like to go over with you guys is, again, if you want to go and apply the cross multiplication, that's exactly what we can go ahead and apply for this. No, I'm good. Thank you very much. So again, if I want to apply cross multiplication, that. now remember, when we apply cross, the cross product, we write it in there. This is 3 times a minus 2. Do not write this, okay? because that says 3 times a minus 2. What we need to say is 3 times the difference of a minus 2. Please use parentheses. When you're multiplying against an expression, you've got to make sure you multiply the whole expression. Okay. Now, also notice where my equal sign went. You guys know I didn't lose the equal sign. I saw so many examples of students that were doing problems, and they're just like, eh, I don't want an equal sign. right? And they just kind of left it. Bring down the equal sign. Now we apply this property um, that starts with the D. Oh, 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 distributive property. Aiden? Oh, property. Yeah, very good. <laughs> Kiana? Distributive property. So you apply distributive property. It's like algebra 1 all over again. So now I multiply by distributing to both of the terms. Okay? And now what I need to do is I have an issue, though, now. Because now I have a variable, Layla, that is on the left side. And I have one on the right side, Lauren, that I need to say, I, you know, to isolate this, guys, you've got to get the variable by itself. We have a variable on both sides of the equations. Yes, Colin, you want to add what you'd like to do? Oh, you sure. You have to subtract 2a. OK, could I subtract 3a? I would. No. no, you yeah. cannot. But can I? Yeah. You can. I can. I but then I'd produce a negative a, which is going to add more work to me. So yes, you usually like to get your variable on the same side where it's going to be positive. So I'll subtract the 2a on both sides. All right. Notice that they're on opposite sides of the equation, so you just can't like combine them. Do not say, oh, it's 5a. They're on different sides of the equation. That subtracts a 0, so we're left with a minus 6 equals positive 4. Notice my equal sign. Notice the equal sign. All right? So now, let's add 6. a equals this. Did you combine the constant here? Oh, you mean add, add 6? Yeah, absolutely. And that's it.